Hey guys, welcome back in my shop. Uh, did part one and part two of this Okuma LS Japanese lathe, and in part two I worked on the cross slide, and now it's time to work on the apron and the saddle. So uh, there are some uh, things that I want to repair and also uh, good cleaning because um, yeah I want to have it run a little bit smoother than it is right now. So um, yeah, let's do that in this uh, series part 3 and let's get to work. There was no oil anymore in my uh, apron and the oil plug is down there. Still a little bit of oil in there and it looks clean so that's good. This hand pump knob is bent a little bit. I don't think it's from much misuse but if you engage and disengage the this is the uh, feed for the thread turning um, then it will hit this knob so I think it's a little bit bad design to put it on there it just uh, it does it does hit it so kind of strange <laughs> you can hear a plunger pump working getting to know the machine a little bit better this screw here For the power feed disengagement pin, um, you can now it's free to move, but if you want to lock it, you can just lock it like that or engage it again like this. I will use the Shell Tona 68 for the apron and uh, the Shell Telus 68 for the main gears. Big, nice, heavy steel hand wheel. It even has a counterweight for the handle.
Here you can see the gear reduction mechanism for the two skills on the hand wheel. If you rotate, you will also see the inner one rotate, but very slowly. There's one bolt that is holding these two together.
So there were quite some deep scratches on this long gib. So I took one pass with the hand scraping just to remove the highest points but because I think it was worn down quite a lot um, it should fit and yeah just give a little bit better bearing surface but also with these scraping marks I can check in a month or so uh, where they were worn down or how the condition of the uh, of the gap is so uh, yeah let's uh, check it out and uh, put it back together Smooth enough for me guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this series and part 3. Next step will be part 4 working on the compound slide and the tool post and they also both need some repair and some work. So uh, yeah let's uh, continue working on this lathe and share this adventure. So uh, that was it for part 3 and I hope to see you again in part 4. Bye bye.